Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna be doing exercise 1.10. Before I do though, there's something I wanna talk about. But uh, what I decided to do is to use a textbook which is actually not the latest version of Java, right? The latest edition is uh, by the time of the of this recording is 11th edition. However, this is 10th edition, but there are only a few things that have changed. I mean, m most of the stuff that you're doing here, that you're gonna be doing here, you're also gonna find it on the new edition. The reason why I decided to choose an an older version is simply because my main purpose is to see help you guys improve your problem solving skills probably problem is I know some people they like shortcuts so they would probably they would probably copy and paste solutions so like if I decided to use the new edition so the reason why um I decided to use an older one is simply because I don't want people to keep copying and pasting my solution because that way I'll be ruining their career with programming. I think it's 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 very important that I let you guys know that I did it on purpose. I don't want you to get it wrong. I chose this textbook on purpose. Besides, I mean, it has truly, truly, truly challenging stuff, exercises. I mean, so if if you if you, if we go together, if we try to keep working on these exercises, I bet by the time we do maybe say chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. By then you will see like how useful it is okay with that being said let's get started as I mentioned today we're doing exercise 10 so let's first call our project exercise 10 I mean exercise 1.10 and then let's choose our location finish so let's go and check out the question itself it's on page 54 oh there we go there we go so this is what we are told assume a runner runs 14 kilometers in 45 minutes and 30 seconds Write a program that displays the average speed in miles per hour. Note that one mile is actually 1.6 kilometers. Before we jump on to programming, there's something I want I want you guys to know that will help you on your entire career. You see, the programming part is actually easy when it comes to problem solving. What you want to do first is to sit down with a pen and a paper and try to understand what is it you're actually planning on doing. By the time you go, by the time you start programming, you have a clear, a crystal clear idea of what is it you want to do. You will see what I'm talking about in a moment. So this, this, is, actu this is actually exercise 1.10a. Okay. Oh my god. I forgot including public static void main. I forgot to include the main method, but then again it's okay. It's not much of a deal. It is not too much of a deal. Okay. With that out of the way, let's get started. So, what I'll be doing is I'll be commenting 
most of what I'm saying so that you guys will see the steps I took in order to get into my final answer. So, so first thing, first thing first, what we want to do is to write down the equation of getting the average speed. This is the equation. Just go distance divided by time. Okay. But we need to convert distance in need to convert distance to miles and the time to hours. Okay. We first need to find the distant value in correct SI units. Okay, so one mile is actually equals to, or they said it's actually equals to 1.6 kilometers. So, a certain number of miles, call it a question mark, or oh, let's put a question mark, miles is equals to 14 kilometers. Basically, if you did mathematics, it's like you have two equations, equation one and equation two. If you cross multiply, if you just go one multiplied by 14 and then 1.6 multiplied by this question mark, which, which we haven't yet give it a good name. If you multiply the two, and then we divide it by 1.6 in order to find the question mark you are gonna find the right uh, number of miles but let, let, let's continue so that you guys will see what I'm talking about okay what you gotta do first is to call let's call let's call question mark let's show let's call question mark distance okay so what we have now is as I mentioned if you cross multiply you're gonna have 1.6 multiplied by 1.6 kilometers multiplied by distance which used to be called question mark and then one multiplied by 14 I decided to leave out the SI units by the way okay okay if we proceed with our calculation we see that distance is actually equals to 14 divided by 1.6 which is according to my calculations that will give 1.75 okay now we got distance in the right uh, SI units we gotta deal with time now So what we know is one minute is equivalent to sixty seconds. Uh, and forty five minutes 
is actually equals to in fact this implies 45 minutes Let me write it this way okay one minute is equal to 60 seconds that implies that 45 minutes is equals to 45 multiplied by 60 yeah So if you go 45 minutes plus 30 seconds, it's going to be, okay, so 45 minutes plus 30 seconds is actually equals to 2,780 seconds, 2,780 seconds I've already calculated these values in case you think I'm messing with you you can verify them okay now what else you wanna work with okay what else you wanna get we wanna get uh, this say we will also wanna convert these seconds into hours so one hour is equals to 3600 seconds okay it's a certain number of hours x number of hours which you're gonna call question mark by the way hours these are the number of hours we're looking for we call them question mark we put question mark for that for the number of hours we're looking for we know the number of seconds which is 2780 seconds again by cross multiplying what we get is before we do that let's call let's call question mark time okay if we cross multiply we're gonna get 3600 3600 multiplied by time is equals to 1 multiplied by 2730 and if we make our time the subjects of the formula we're gonna get 2730 divided by 1600 which is which is uh, a zero point I'm going to write the whole thing. I'm not going to round off. So it's 0 0.758333333333333333. How many threes? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13. There's actually 13 of them. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Okay, this is what we get. This is what we get. Mm, this is in hours. Oh, I forgot something here that top our distance supposed to be in uh, supposed to be in uh, in miles um, 
okay now that we've got time we also got distance we gotta use our equation for getting the average speed which is distance all over time so what we have is average speed is equals to raise our distance it's 8.75 divided by this number here and the final uh, this is our final answer by the way what we want to do now is to simply print it out so it's going to be system dot dot out dot print Let's just go simple solution first. The simple solution. Oh, by the way, this is in miles per hour. Okay. Our simple solution will look like this. It's gonna be system dot out dot print. And then we copy and paste this whole thing just like that. A better solution though will look as follows. Basically it, it will be It will be more user friendly. So, this is what we're going to have. This is what we're going to have the average speed. second is this number here okay the solution which is actually better than that course we can use printf to round off our answer but then in this solution we want this is what we have basically this is what we have you could have made this even more descriptive by mentioning the fact that it is a runner that is running this distance I mean uh, running at this speed okay this is actually a better solution you'd be surprised how 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 student how stupid student can be you guys because you see beginners they tend to make one and the same mistake they keep they, they only care much about this right here this the output the computation they 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 don't care all about the the importance of this they don't care at all so that's why I keep emphasizing this era because this mistake I mean because like you gotta make sure that your answer is user-friendly it is descriptive 
so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys see you on the next one cheers